Hey guys, Drum here from the National Stadium for day three, match day three of the Lions campaign in the Suzuki Cup 2020. Now, of course, we are currently watching the game between Thailand and the Philippines. Thailand have a 1-0 lead going into halftime and remember the goal difference right now for Thailand is plus seven. So they are two up on us. So we need to make sure that we get a convincing victory, especially over Timor-Leste who lost 7-0 to the Philippines um, in the game on Saturday. So hopefully we can get as many goals as possible against them as well. But um, only time will tell. The starting lineups are not out yet. They should be out very soon. But I am looking forward to this game. The win would seal qualification into the semi-finals. So looking forward to hopefully celebrating that today with you guys. Um, and then against Thailand on Saturday. Or is it Sunday? I forgot. I'll put the description there. But... Um, feeling quietly confident, trying not to be a little bit too overconfident. There we go, the main man Ethan right here. Hey, from what's up, the crew. guys? What's up, guys? You're vlogging the game today, is it? Yep, vlogging the game today, nice. dude. Where's Ayman? Where's everybody else? Well, Ayman's doing his prayers, then he's going to eat. La. So, very nice, I, I very think nice. he can make it now, but he will be here for the full time interview. Alright, okay. let's, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. This yeah, is what yeah, I usually sure, do sure. with some of the guests uh, for the last uh, segment. What do you think? Um, the game today, we're just looking at Thailand right now. They are leading uh, the Philippines with one goal to nil. Um, Tiresel Dangda with the goal, of course, beating No Alam Shah's record. But, I mean, the main thing is that now we need to get our goal difference up. What are you thinking um, going into this game coming up? I think it's a good result, you know, to go for them to go one nil up because mm -hmm. we need Thailand to win and then a win for, or, or actually a draw is good enough for us to, to secure our semi-final place. Yep. But of course, we want to. If we want to be a bit more ambitious, we can. Uh, we need to. Be, we can inflate our goal difference today because it's against um, Timor, and then maybe, uh, we, maybe with a bit of a, uh, maybe maybe with a bit of luck here and there, and of course um, with a good performance. Most importantly, not that I'm saying not 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 that luck gets you, not not, not that luck should be the main focus, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we should be if we're going to be more ambitious we can finish out the group and I think it's very possible because um, as uh, as like what most of the experts have said um, the standards in us, among ASEAN teams are very are very, very close mm. uh, especially now with Singapore you know, with our, you know we are playing with our home advantage here we are the host so I think uh, I, I, I think we actually stand a, a chance of Okay let's stop Thailand. here because I think I'm giving people a headache because I'm keep walking but what like yeah definitely I think this is our best chance for winning especially since we're the, not only we're the home team but also you've been seeing all the different reports of like players going down with COVID and also everything else how important do you think that this goes into the mindset of the players to like really push on for the result yeah. because looking at the things that are going for us uh, I think uh, you know some players have uh, missed out because they are COVID positive mm. uh, most notably you know Malaysia I think they got a couple yeah, of they players, got a few players yeah, out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's just one example uh, but of course if if you're going to lose players because they are they test positive, you know, it'll be a blow though, because mm. they'll, they'll miss probably the rest of the tournament now that it's uh, entering the closing stages. Yeah. After the group stage, it's going to be, it's going to be very quick, you know, mm. because every three, every three days there's going to be a game, you know, the semi-finals, I think it's a, probably two legs or something. Yeah, it'll be a two legs, yeah. So, so it'll be 180 minutes, of course. So three games, uh, sorry, three days in between games. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, it's going to be very tiring, especially if they lose players and then they have a, they have a thinner squad because um, and, I, and I don't think you can bring players in to uh, replace current yeah. players. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think there were some teams who were trying to argue for that yeah. uh, because they, they really lost a few players. But mm. it's important that they that we keep our players fit for, for matches because it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. That's, yeah, what, that's, for sure. that's what a lot of people told me. For sure. Yeah. Okay, now last thing. What uh, I always like to put my guests on the spot. Prediction for tonight, what do you think? Alright, score predictions. I think I'm gonna go with a seven 0 because Ooh, uh, yeah, it's a heavy. It's a, okay. Initially, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I know I had this joke on. Uh, I, I mean, you, you guys, if you saw my story uh, that I posted on Instagram, uh, for every year we've waited, let's score a goal. True, <laughs> so true. I want okay. to go with nine 0 but I see Philippines. They beat them seven 0 I think we can. I think we can uh, do it as well. And I yeah. think uh, Tasuma says that there's no holding back in this game. He oh, wants to yeah. feel his strongest side. I just quote his words what he said in the previous yeah. in the press conference. So. If we're going to fill our stronger side, maybe we go 3-4-0 uh, up at half time. Yep. I think we have a chance of getting my prediction correct. But of course, I think he's going to take out um, some of the players to rest them yeah, for sure. eventually. So uh, whether the team slows down after uh, getting a lead 
which uh, I think most will expect. Mm. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure whether they'll go on to score more goals because mm. in 2018 the strategy was a little bit different, right? Yeah, it they was. Just, yeah. They continued attacking and such that even we are four one up, we still mm. scored two goals in injury time yeah. to go six one up. Six one, yeah. But for today, I'm not too sure what's the strategy. Maybe mm. after four nil, he might do something like a Myanmar game and okay. then you know rest players. But I do hope that it'll be exciting, you know. Yep. All right, great. And with that, we'll see you guys in the game. Come on, you Lions. Come on, Lions. We're going to win this, man. Let's go. All right, see you guys later. This looks as if it's Asa, but Hamid should, should be should be tucking in. Uh. Good to see Shao playing, because uh, Shao has been really good. Song. Get in! Alright! Brilliant, Adam Suwandi with his first goal back from after been so long since he's been playing for the national team but Adam Suwandi back goal What an assist by Song by the way yeah. That was insane and 1-0 uh, to Singapore early on Come on boys, let's go, let's get more Come on! Come on! Alright, down here at the National Stadium, it is 1-0 to Singapore and it's halftime now against Timor-Leste. I got Vikram here from Soccer Kakis. Yes. Dude, what do you think of that first half so far? Um, I mean, the only positive I can take so far is the fact that we scored a goal. Yeah. I think that's important. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why we are playing a very slow tempo kind of game. We are not going for the second goal. It doesn't seem like it at least. Yep. Which is kind of uh, unnerving. Yeah, but, it is. You know, it's, it's sort of... Uh, I've seen situations where teams lead like this and then implode towards the end. Yeah. You don't want a situation like that. I mean, yeah. I have a small fear that we are being a tad bit complacent. Mm. You know, or maybe Yoshida is being a tad bit complacent because it seems like that's how you want the team to be played yeah. right now. So it's kind of confusing for me, man. Yeah, and it's a bit slow also in terms of the build up, though I thought the lineup. Okay, I think first of all, what do you think of the lineup? Um, clearly, he wants to rest with some of the more. Veterans to say, yeah. uh, players that he wants to use, you know, in the knockout stages. Uh, that being said, you know, I think the lineup was fine. Yeah, lineup was fine. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's not like a radical change to say. You know, we're just swapping players at different positions. Yeah. These players have played together before in the past. Uh, the only thing I personally have an issue with with the uh, lineup, maybe it's, there's no creative outlet besides Army. That's true. That's you know? true. Like. Because I think like people like Shawal, Shawal is more of a dribbler, more of a exactly. guy who's running down the exactly. wing. Adam's one. Adam is also an our one. So Adam and Adam Hami. Yeah. Adam and Hami. Yeah. Adam and Hami. And I think you can see Harris is actually taking upon himself to try to make those line breaking passes. Yeah. So you can see a couple of those passes where he made pretty line breaking. Now the thing is, second half, what do you expect to be said in the dressing room at halftime? To be honest, right. I want them to, uh, or I rather want Yoshida to tell them to push on to get the second goal, get a third goal, and so on and so forth. Yep. I have a feeling he's going to tell them to be playing in the exact same game that they are. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The intensity, yeah. yeah. I think it has to be increased. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we we get a better second half. I think. But overall, what do you, what are your, what is your thinking in, in terms of the second half? Uh, they need to either they need to change something, man. Right? Yeah, Something's yeah. not working right now. You know, they need to kill the game. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't give to any opportunities for any sort of uh, slip up per se. You don't need Timo uh, to be, you know, getting a shot win. You know, because tomorrow you know what the headlines going to be. Yeah, it's going to be mad. You know, it's going to be mad tomorrow. Timo one, Timo let's say under 22 too. Something like that. <laughs> and that's the biggest problem now. So, hoping for a better second half. Fingers crossed we can get more goals. And uh, we'll be back later. Something, something has got to give. Uh, I think I will see him inside What are we looking at, Dixon? I think I think I do. I love Saka.
Here I am, of course, with Suhail here outside the national stadium after a 2 0 victory against Timor Leste. We are through to the semi finals. We were already through, I think it was confirmed uh, before the game itself uh, after Philippines lost to Thailand. So, yep. more the good thing, we first time we made it to the semi finals in nine years, four editions of this cup, and uh, we're in. What do you make of the game overall today, my dude? Okay, I thought uh, we started off uh, really well. I yeah. thought, uh, yeah, I thought we started off really well. Um, I think after the first goal, we just decided to lay low a bit and yeah. uh, invite Timor Leste to come and attack us. Mm. Um, I thought the second half was decent as well. Uh, the substitution definitely made uh, made an impact. Yep. I would have definitely loved to have seen Saifullah uh, Akbar come on. Oh, I yeah. think this is a perfect game for Tatsuma to experiment around the, the squad. Mm. Um, I would have loved to have seen like Hafiz Noor, Noor Adam even as well, um, because there's no chance of. I think I, I think for me there's no chance of them getting game time uh, yeah. against Thailand or whoever we come up next. Yeah. You know? So yeah. Um, on to the next game. I have a good feeling uh, in this edition. Mm -hmm. I think um, we'll at least make it to the finals. Yeah. That's my hope and that's my prediction. So, how did you feel about the game? I felt on my end it was lineup wise was a good lineup. I thought it was a decent one. But a couple changes in the second half puzzled me a little bit. You yeah, know, when Song yeah. coming off for Shadan, I thought that was a little bit of a negative move. Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're all happy we won. Right. And I think. You know, result, I mean, as long... <laughs> You're getting here, there, we're going to qualify, we are going to qualify. Don't worry, the fan camps will be coming up a little later, so well. great to see you. Bro, Gold to see you as well. Yes, gold.com, check out his stuff, I'll leave it in the description below and everything else. Check his guys out, alright. Hey, be sure to subscribe to Jerome and oh, the SG Football Podcast as well, they're doing an amazing job covering oh, the SPL and the national team. So be sure to check them out. Alright, dude, thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Alright, sweet dude. Let's say Shaki Hamza. Because he's the one that sealed the victory. Jerome here for the SG Football Podcast right outside the National Stadium, as you can see. We are ready for the last game of the group stages. Singapore versus Thailand tonight. A lot of different permutations. I'm not going to go through them because I haven't had a lot of sleep. Um, I've been shout casting over the last three nights up till 1 a.m. in the morning. Yesterday up till 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm extremely tired. But here to watch the final game between Singapore and Thailand. I won't be able to stay the whole way because I still have the 11 versus 11 Pro Clubs tournament to cast tonight. Luckily, it's at Kalang Wave Mall, so it's very nearby the stadium. So at least I'm able to catch most of the game before I have to go off. Um, but just grateful that the team are able to get through to the semi-finals of the Suzuki Cup already. And uh, at the end of the day, we'll just have to see who we play in the next one, whether it's Vietnam, Indonesia or Malaysia. I'm just looking forward to seeing more of our Singapore boys playing in this tournament. So um, without further ado, let's go and check it out. Alright, so I'm in the stadium already. It has started to pour down really heavily with rain on the outside. Luckily that this is sheltered, so lineups are out for both teams. And uh, a couple notable absentees for the ties. We do Tiraton is not playing, Chanatip is also not playing. So, I mean, 
this gives us our biggest chance to win. Even Tirasil is also not playing on uh, in the starting lineup, so gives us the biggest chance to try and win this game. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just looking for we're just looking for effort. I think as Singapore fans, we don't care about the result. We're just looking for our team to do the best that they can on the field, and hopefully, if they can, pull off a result. Because Thailand, very strong team. We're not going to deny that. We're going to say that oh, we're going to definitely going to beat them. I think. It's all a matter of perspective, and I think we have to be as uh, realistic as possible. Uh, I'm hoping for a win, but um, I mean, at the end of the day, win, lose, or draw, we're still here for our Lions, no matter what. And, um, you know, I'm just glad to be here supporting them. I will have to leave about 10 minutes before full time because I have the East Singer Cup um, casting today, so uh, that's, that's the big pity. But just glad to, to see as much of the game as possible and uh, get as much reaction for you guys as possible. So. We'll see what happens and uh, game on, guys. So here, like as nervous as I am. Of course, bro. It's a big day, it's a big game. I think it'll be tough, but let's see how it pans out. Yeah, that's the thing. We just have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, we can get the result tonight, my man. Yes, of course. Oh, my God. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Come on, boys. Come on. You can see the Singer Brigade all walking in in black. Oh. That was a great save. Well, that was a Jamie That was a great save. No, not a good goal to concede. It's 1 0 Thailand. Free kick. Hassan Sunny with a great save. No, oh, they are naturalized player. That's probably one of the jammiest goals I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> but what a save though by Hassan. Right. But after that, just. Oh man. Well, they force him to play all those risky balls to them. And look. Two 0 Thailand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, no la, when you give Super Chai that much space, you give him open road. He's gonna take it. Hey guys, so Jerome here. About a few days after the Thailand game, unfortunately I had to leave for the e Singer Cup shoutcasting, so I wasn't able to stay for the full game. But uh, anyway, nothing much happened, of course, in that second half, as most of you know, uh, ended 2 0. But um, as I was leaving the stadium, you know, I was just thinking about, you know, just keeping it in perspective. I think we all, I mean, even said during the vlog, I think we did not expect to win, but, you know, just we wanted as, as much effort from, from the Singapore boys as possible. And I. It, it was safe to say that um, they gave their best, but unfortunately their best wasn't good enough. And um, the social media reaction or the fan reaction after that from the crowd was was pretty was pretty unacceptable, uh, to be completely honest. Because I mean, there was booze already. Like when I was in there already at, at that point in time before the 80th minute when I had to leave, there were already shouts from discontent from the crowd, and, and it was. It was sad to see. Uh, I know it's a small minority of, of the crowd that were there, but it was just dispiriting to see and, and to see some of the abuse some of the players got also after that game, you know, on social media and whatsoever. I think it was totally uncalled for. Um, at the end of the day, they tried their best. They lost, unfortunately, and, um, you know, we just had to take it on the chin. But I mean, just to put it in perspective, at the end of the day, we made it to our first AFF Suzuki Cup semi final in nine years. So, it was absolutely fantastic for the boys, especially for the first three games itself. That's why it was so important for us to make sure that we got results in our first three games because Thailand, honestly, we... I think I also came into this tournament thinking that the first three games were going to be the most important games to qualify for the semi-finals. So, um, to lose to Thailand is no um, no shame in itself at all. Uh, even if it is against a, a second-string side, they are still a very good team. Uh, and Super Chai, on his day, can really make a fool out of any defence. So... Um, in any case, going to the second round or going to the semi-finals, we play Indonesia and uh, which was quite the biggest surprise is the lesser two evils because all the way we thought that Vietnam were going to finish first but 
Indonesia with their 4-1 win versus Malaysia. I mean, even um, their their journalist who was featured on the final whistles uh, preview show of that semi-final didn't think that they were going to win by four goals to one. So, oh, but that team, I mean, it's a lesser two evils, but that team in itself, look at what they have. They got Ezra Wali and Witan Sulaiman. They have Irfan Jaya who scored a double in that game, who could have scored a hat-trick uh, if he hadn't put that shot wide. Um, but, oh, it's going to be a tough one. The Indonesians definitely are a team. I mean, I watched I watched highlights of that game and they were running tireless, tirelessly. So it's going to still going to be a tough one. But um, anyway, can't wait for the semi-finals. Lions, keep your heads up. You guys will make it through this challenge and this storm. And uh, remember, we are always behind you all the way. Forget about the minority of the fans that booed you or said what they said. You know, at the end of the day, realize the true ones that are behind you all the way. And uh, we'll see you in the next one against Indonesia.